So hello again and welcome back. We now put the things together and make it run. So I show you the next steps. Now it is time to make things run. What we have is our Raspberry Pi in the nice case. What we have is a programmed memory card that we plug in here. And what we have is a cord that is connected to the mains. So I can plug it in and the whole thing starts. If you look here, this little light flashes and this takes, well, approximately 10 minutes. So it's time to get a cup of coffee. And when this light blinks regularly, then you can continue. We are back from coffee now and we see this little green light blinking. That's great. So we try to connect to our Raspberry Pi. We find it here in the um, uh, Wi-Fi connection list and we connect to it. So it asked us for the key. The key is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. We connect, yes. So it takes a while. So here we are. Then we go to our browser and enter HTTP double point slash slash 10.0.0.5. So this is the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. And um, we now see the, the uh, wifis around here in my house. The Devolo, that is my, my wifi. I click to it, enter the password and connect. So now another cup of coffee. Um, how long this pauses depends. Sometimes it's quite quick, sometimes it takes a while. Um, what happens? Our Raspberry Pi now connects to my house Wi-Fi. And um, so we should be able to see it in, in Rune when it is connected. Now our Raspberry Pi is connected to our Wi-Fi. And we see that this little green light now doesn't blink anymore, but it flashes. Well. Let's take a look back at our screen. We see our Devolo network. It is um, here, it has no more links, so this means it is connected. That's a good sign. Let's start rule and see what, what happened. We can go to the, to the settings and there to the extensions menu. And we find a definite audio RU dial status unpaired and not licensed. So now you're nearly done. We only have to pair with a Microsoft Surface dial. Now I'll show you how to pair the Bluetooth connection to, from the Microsoft Surface dial to the Raspberry Pi. We open the dial, the batteries are in. We press this little button. And uh, after some seconds, on the opposite side, a little light starts blinking. And um, now the pairing process is underway. And um, when the light stops blinking, pairing is done. And if you look at the screen now, you see connected, not licensed. When we press the wheel now, or we turn the wheel, we see that here something happens. If we turn right, we see an R, turn left, we see an L, and if we press, we see a P. 
So now it's time to license the plugin so we can use it with our stereo. Buying the license is quite a simple thing. You have a buy button, you click it, and um, then you can fill in your name, your email, your credit card number, or you can pay with PayPal. Uh, there's one thing I like to tell you. We have two different offerings. We have a license that is valid for one year, and we have a lifelong license that is a bit more expensive. Um, so when you enter your credentials for PayPal here, just pay, click on pay. And if the payment was successful, you get a license code. I will not do that here because uh, I don't want to show you my information, but believe me, the thing will work. Hello again, work is done. It's getting dark outside, meanwhile, worked all day on that videos, but the Microsoft Surface Dial now does what it should. Next minute you go. You see, I can control the volume and uh, I also can stop the music and I can restart the music. So, what I wanted, I have achieved. You can do it. Have fun with it. Bye bye.